These instructions are for bays with garment hanging space on both sides. Before you start to assemble your super shelf garment hanging bay, it's best to check that you have everything you need. In the kit of parts, you should have these items. Two pre-assembled frames, four standard beams, and four to eight hanging beams, depending on the height of shelving that you have chosen. You should also have panels, the quantity varying according to the width of your bay, beam clips, and protective plastic top caps for the frames. We also recommend a rubber-faced mallet to help with the bedding in of beams and clips during assembly. A pair of gloves, and if you are assembling a unit higher than 2 metres, a small pair of steps. With the frames, beams and clips in easy reach, stand one frame on end. Two beams then need to be connected to the base of the first frame. The top side of the beam is easily recognisable. It has a long groove and the end of each beam simply slots into the frame like this. If you are having trouble, it may help to hold the beam and frame together with thumb and forefinger whilst pushing down on the beam. Once the first two beam ends are in place, hold the other frame in position whilst the unconnected beam ends are also slotted in. This enables the frame to stand unsupported. You may require a colleague to help you if assembling units higher than 2 metres. Next, fix one hanging beam just under the top shelf level at the back of the unit. Then, depending on the height of the bay you are constructing, fix between one and three more hanging beams evenly spaced down the back of the unit. Next, fix one of the two remaining standard beams, the ones with the long grooves on top, to the back at the top of the unit, in the space left above the hanging beam. Now start to fix the beams down the front of the unit, at matching heights to those already in position at the back. Start with the first hanging beam, then the one or more hanging beams lower down. Finally, fix the last standard beam in the top shelf position. With all the back beams in place, fit one clip to each end of every beam. When finished clipping, your assembly should look like this. At this stage, the panels can be fitted on the standard beams at the top and at the bottom of the unit. After finishing off by adding the top caps to the frames, remember to fix the unit securely to the floor using the special fixings supplied. For bay heights in excess of 2 metres, additional fixing for extra stability may be required. Call our office to discuss. If you have ordered an add-on bay or bays, you'll have essentially the same kit components as you've just assembled, but with just a single additional frame for each add-on bay. Follow the same steps as before to fix in the standard beams that join the new frame to the existing shelving, the hanging beams and the shelf panels, remembering to clip the beam ends to the frames. Finally, fit the top caps on the new frame, and when all is complete and secure, you can hang garments to both sides of the unit.